Now I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this skeleton mug um, using the cappuccino mug here. So we're going to start with the inside of the mug uh, so that has time to dry while we're working on the outside. We're using Jumpin' Jelly. Um, squirt a little bit into your palette there and you're going to want to do about three coats of paint to get it nice and solid. Now that the inside of the mug has been painted with three coats of the purple, we're going to sketch on the face on the outside of the mug. So just with two circles. They don't have to be perfect by any means. They're just kind of wonky. And then two little ovals for the nose and a big slap. And then just the little checks along there. And there's our face. Once the face is drawn on, we're gonna take the black puffy paint and just outline right over our pencil markings, uh, just like the sample here. So you're going to squeeze the puffy paint out, touch it down, lift it, and sort of let it fall as you're tracing your pencil lines. While we're waiting for the outside of the mug to dry, we're going to fleckle the inside with the black paint and then do the rim there. So just squirt out some black paint into your palette. We're going to use a toothbrush to do the fleckling. So you're just going to dip the bristles of the toothbrush right into the black paint, and then you're going to pull your finger so that the paint flex right into the inside of the mug there. And you just need a little bit and we're good. Now we're gonna make the rim solid here. We'll just need to squirt out some paint in the center of our palette. We're gonna take the flat side of the sponge, dip it in the paint there. And you don't wanna have too, too much paint on the sponge. So that looks about good. And then you're just going to run the sponge along the rim of the cup. Just nice and gently. You'll want to do this a couple times to make sure that you get a nice solid black rim. Now we're going to add the black fun rider lines on the inner rim of the mug. So take your black fun rider and you're just going to sort of slowly go around the inner rim, but you do want to squeeze pretty generously and make sure that the paint is flowing out pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just kind of go around in a circle. until you have got it looking like you want it to. And there we go with the inside. And then we'll just fill in the eyes on the outside of the mug there and in the nostrils also. So just squeeze your fun rider to pull into the, the circle we've made there. And then same with the eyes. So again, you wanna squeeze pretty generously. Don't want it to overflow over the barrier we've created, but you do want to have a nice layer of paint, a nice even layer of paint. And once we've filled in the eyes with the fun rider and the nose, uh, we are all done. And once it gets fired, it'll turn out looking just like this one.